everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I got an egg from Mr. Brown. She sp spent the night up in the rooster house, and this morning I saw her go in the rooster house after she was out for a little while, and then I went up to check, and sure enough, there was an egg, and she moved the two eggs that I had, the, the pretend eggs, she moved them over to where she put her egg. So she likes that to be her nesting spot. The other side she didn't care for. And then I brought her up some snack when I gave the other girls some snack. And I had to wear boots because last night it rained really hard and it got really squishy for me to walk up there. But I did walk up there. And I got, I think, 10 eggs today. I think that's 10, what you said, I think yeah. 10 or 11 eggs I got. I got quite a few eggs. And Jim has a story he said he wanted to tell about Mr. Brown, but he didn't tell me yet because he wants my natural reaction to this story. So I have to listen to a story, and you do too. So let's hear the story, Mr. Jim. Well, as you know, I uh, got the four-wheeler out earlier and cleaned up the flowers at the end of the driveway. Yeah. And then I thought, well... There's a lot of leaves around the privet bush that we have in our current bush, current mm -hmm. tree, or current bush. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go over and clean up around the current and the, the privet, clean up all the la leaves. And as I'm in there working around, I look up, and who do I see? But Mr. Brown is out there. He with got out? Me. How did he get out? I have no did idea fly over how the fence? he got out. He must have heard me with the four-wheeler out. And, and he came uh, to see. He came to see what I was oh, doing. Oh, my goodness. So uh, I, mean, I I talked to him for a bit and kind of followed him. He went back her. around, or to her, and went back around the, she went back around the house. And I know it was Mr. Brown because... Uh, out by the cold frame, she stopped and let me pick her up. And I <laughs> took, her, took her back up to her chicken house up on the hill. So. Oh my goodness, she flew <laughs> over the fence. She must have gotten One flew somewhere. over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> <laughs> yep. As they would say. Oh but my it's goodness. It's kind of funny that she heard me out and she came to see what I was doing. She came doing. to see you. She hasn't bothered to, I've, every time I've looked up there, she's been inside the fence. Yeah. Wow. Good thing she came to see where you were. Yep. And then you were able to bring her back. Oh, my goodness. Well, I wonder if she will stay up there when we're gone. I hope she does. Yeah, hopefully she Emily, does. Emily doesn't even like to touch the birds, let yeah. alone. Pick she's up such the, an ooh. easy bird to pick up. I and, know. She's really sweet. She's really sweet. And those of you that are worried about her foot, her foot, I think, is going to be okay. It's still got the bumble on it, but it's got to get hard enough to where I can work, work it off. It. Because otherwise I can't work it off. It's like, it's like a flat scab as it is right now. It needs to get a little bit higher. It needs to be like a kernel on her foot to get that off. And the way... Somebody had, I think it was um, Gloria, had asked me, how do they get this bumble foot? Well, because Mr. Brown has been in the house, her feet are very tender, I'm sure. So when she went outside to scratch around, she probably caused a little bit of a sore. And that sore got an infection in it, and it's like a staph infection that they get. And it will cause the bumble. Now, my other chickens have never gotten it. They say it's from a dirty dirty chicken area or something, but the other chickens are fine. But their feet are very tough and they don't have anything really that they can get infected on. I don't believe because the chicken so. house is pretty clean. Everything's pretty clean. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. They just scratch around in the dirt and they don't have anything sharp in their dirt area. But because... She's, yeah. Um, Her Mr. Feet. Brown is not used to having stones and that no. around. It'd be like you taking off your shoes and go barefoot and walk over the driveway where the stones are. Oh my, it's ouch, 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 ouch. And when I yep. would be down at the lake, if I was to take off my shoes, if I'm in soft, sandy area, it's okay. But the minute you hit something a little bit 
hard. Ow, it hurts. And there's even some shoes that if the sole is very thin, you can feel the every rock under your foot. And that's probably how Mr. Brown's feet are. Mm -hmm. So that's why she got the bumble. Otherwise, I don't think she would have gotten the bumble if she was outside and, and working on hard ground all this while. All the time, yeah. But she hasn't been. And she, she's a tender lily. <laughs> and she always will be, probably. Right now she's up on nice soft grass, and so she likes that. That in the only place that it's kind of um, muddy, as you saw yesterday, her beak got all muddy. She was digging in the dirt underneath the trailer, because underneath the trailer the grass won't grow. So she'll be in that dirt. and In between the trailer and the it's little house. Mushy. It's, it's mushy, It's kind of mushy, mushy in there, too. Like like the little mushy, mushy unknowne. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. How are you? Um, mushy, mushy unknowne. Hello, hello. Um, I don't know what it was. It was from Lamb Chops a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. Now, long, long time ago, there was a song that was mm. coming in my brain, but I don't have the <laughs> tune. So that's it for today. And I'm going to go watch, I want to watch um, Sharon Cheryl's live. I always miss it every Thursday. And she starts at 6, my time, 6 o'clock, my time, I believe. So I have to go watch it. I don't know. I think it's Eastern Standard Time that it's at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock here. Because I always miss it. Or it might be 7. I don't know. I don't, she's she's down in, in, I think, Texas. So what's it? It's, they're an hour ahead They're an hour ahead behind of us. us. Or ahead of us. So, so and we're 6 o'clock here. It'd be 5 o'clock here. Depends on what part of Texas she's oh, at. I don't too. know. She's near the Mexico Mexican border, probably. Well, so it might be... Depends on. I don't know. There again. Anyways, I'm going to go check, see if she's live <laughs> or not, and I'm going to try to catch it. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.